my neighbors. It's the end. And we're gonna head to the park again today, but we're gonna check out a different area. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so I would love to be able to show you guys another section of the park that I love. Um, I'll show you in a little bit. We're heading to the train station at 96th Street. And the weather is super nice today. Nice and sunny. Not windy. I love it. It's so much warmer in the sun. Our fruit guy is back. Y'all can get your coffee and your breakfast Danish. Need your Metro card. And the Metro card is take the train you just keep refilling it when necessary this station has the one two and three the one is the local two and three are express oh my god inside here if you look in that giant square that's the planetarium there's so much to see around New York City it's truly an amazing place And it's just not bad. Okay, we just got into the park. We came in came in at seventy nine.
Looks like they're doing work over here in this section. Oh look, they're sitting out here. Kind of chilly. So one of the first places I'm going to show you today is the Delacorte Theater. And this is where they do Shakespeare in the Park. And you can start to see it through the trees. And there it is, the Delacorte Theatre. During the summer months, they would perform plays, Shakespeare, and Tickets here. See? It's theater in the round. And look, there's Romeo and Juliet. And the Tempest. Okay, so this is the Delacorte Theater. This is where they perform Shakespeare in the Park for New York City in Central Park. Tickets are free. And what you do is you can either enter it through an online lottery. I'll put the link down below or what you would do is you would come out here early on the day of performance and wait in line. They give out tickets, I think it's at noon. And then you would get two tickets a person and stuff. So if you come with another person to hang out in line, you could end up with four tickets. And then you come back later in the evening for the performance. Many people, what happens is because those that perform in Shakespeare in the Park, a lot of them are very well-known actors and actresses. So, I mean, we've had John Lithgow. There's been so many, so many people that have performed here. And um, 
once they have, once it's out, the who is in the play. Sometimes it's like you end up here. I've been out here at 6 a.m., <laughs> which is the earliest they let you into the park to wait for tickets. And it is phenomenal. I will say that. It's something that we usually do every year. Of course, we couldn't do it last year because of the pandemic, but I cannot wait for it to come back. It's one of the things I look toward to every single season. And you come Oh, and by the way, if you're here for a performance or just picnicking out here, hanging out in a park, they, wait, let me get it, actually have bathrooms, real bathrooms. That is one thing when living in New York that you tend to find out where are all the bathrooms. Ooh, this looks scary. I might have to put you guys down. It's a little slick. Shakespearean garden. I gotta be careful on these steps. You'll have really nice views of the park here. Many people come up here for wedding photos. And just so you get an idea of where we are. Okay, this is Central Park. Okay. This is like where I live. And this is where we are right now. Lots of things to do and see. So you guys you should come out here take a visit and see the castle see the delacorte theater have some time here if you're here in the summer spend some time on the great lawn it's gorgeous that's one thing i love about new york is the groundskeepers and everything take real pride in the city and in the parks so it's wonderful thanks for watching if you like what you see hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel click on the bell thingy so you don't miss anything new See you around.